Start game now. Welcome, retro fans, to a very special episode of the No Swear Gamer. The retro junk box has come back. Yeah, this started way back in episode 73. I made a retro junk box, filled it with all kind of retro goodies. You could check out that episode to see what was inside and send it to fellow members of the Retro Junkies Network. And it's finally come back to me. It's been about two months, two and a half months. It's made about nine stops on its way all throughout the great U.S. of A. But let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Actually, it came with a second box, which, which really surprised me. It was sent to me by Paul from the Retro Obscura podcast, who I think is going for the Willie Award of Generosity. Willie uh, from Arcade USA and the ColecoVisions podcast is probably the most generous guy I know in the video game community, and I think Paul is trying to step it up and match him. So... Uh, greatly blessed to receive both these boxes. We're going to open these up. I'm going to put this to the side. You can see it's kind of beat up. Got a few more stickers on it. But let's go ahead, put this into to a side, and let's take a look at what is inside. So, first up, we got a Tiny Toons Adventure Rock and Roar book. It's a golden book, but one of these soft cover ones. So there you go. Yeah, very neat there. How about this? A Highlights Magazine. That's old school. Uh, someone already found all this stuff. Oh, man. So, yeah. I, I don't know. Anybody else remember the uh, Timber Toes? I remember this comic very vividly. I used to read this all the time in my uh, doctor's office. For some reason, they always had them at doctor's offices. All right. It's a comic book. I'm not sure. It looks like a Looney, Looney Tunes comic book. Weird science poster in the middle. Oh, how about that ad? That's pretty cool. I actually like the ad sometimes more than the comic itself, but kind of neat. Hey, no one did that one. And this looks like an Earthworm Jim comic, also missing the uh, cover. Yeah, I think this is Earthworm Jim. I think I recognize that. So very neat. Got a Ren and Stimpy uh, little ad there. Some give and go. Only for the SNES. And how about those Sega portables that you can get in your honeycomb cereal? So very interesting. Offspring smash and it looks like someone did smash it. There's some uh, cracks in the case, but some classic I think that would be 90s right 90s rock And it looks like a uh, miniature amazing spider-man comic book one of the early ones a repro Oh man Got just all sorts of like comic book trading cards. Spider-Man 2099, if I'm not mis mistaken. I remember when they did that. I think it was the 2099 uh, series. So yeah. Man, does he look serious. Seen it. I put this in the junk box and it came back to me. So I guess it really is junk. Seen it? Yes, I have, and I tried to pass it on. <laughs> Something else I put in was this torn up Mad Magazine. So I guess this Mad Magazine is also junk. What, me worry? DuckTales, woo! Cool little golden book there. Look at that. That's pretty neat. Seven kisses in a row. Well, I'm definitely looking forward to seven kisses in a row. Not. I got the manual to Dragon Warrior. This is just the first box. Ooh, and I got my Encyclopedia Brown book, so I guess this is really junk. Actually, this book was really cool, but uh, oh well. Guess no one was into it. Arcade Super Awesome. 
I have no idea what that is, but it's super awesome. And a trading card that goes with it. Street Fighter, the movie, the book. <laughs> That's awesome. They should make a book about the game that was based on the movie, based on the game. Street Fighter, the book of the game, based on the movie, based on the game. That might actually be interesting to read. I, I saw the movie many years ago. I don't remember it very much at all, so be curious. Dennis the Menace, based on the new movie, still? So, oh, it's an activity book, and some of the activities were done, but not all of them. I might let my boy go at that. He likes activities. Okay. Night Frights, 13 Scary Stories. Ooh. Let's see if they have it. Maybe we should uh, do Cold Bony Fingers or maybe Coming to Get You. Interesting. It's like a junior high going out of business sale. Wheel of Fortune, the deluxe edition for your SNES. Monopoly for the SNES. I think I have that on the Genesis. This is very cool. Intellivision Rocks. This is an, an official release from Intellivision. It's out of print. They don't make them anymore. But they actually got the rights to a lot of the third-party games. Usually on some of the releases, you only get um, the original party, first-party games. But this one actually had the third-party games. It's for your PC. But very cool. That's, that's very obscure and cool. Let's see, uh, a one month Xbox 360 Live Gold trial. I may have to give this away. I really don't have an Xbox 360. I don't know when I'll get one, so we'll see about that. Oh, are you serious? You are kidding me. Look at this, an Atari 7800 Pro System. Oh, wow. That is crazy. Oh, wow. I'll, I'm going to have to clear some stuff out to show you this. This is really cool. Hang on. I don't have one of these. This came from Paul. Paul, you're amazing. And I don't know if he knows what he gave me, but it has the expansion module. I've never seen one with the expansion module on the side before. This is where you could put in your other accessories, like the computer module, they even talked about making a laser disc printer, but wow. Very neat. Paul, you just made me very happy. That's amazing. With the expansion module, that means this is one of the first ones that came out. And that is a sharp looking system. And if you want to learn more about the Atari 7800, be sure to check out the Atari 7800 Game by Game podcast available on iTunes. Wow, Paul, you just blew me away. And some retro cards I threw in there, so I guess they really are junk. I'm still blown away by the 7800. All right. I don't know what his name is. He was the dude with the snake heads next to Jabba in Star Wars. He looks so... He, he was very weird to me as a kid. Almost scary, but interesting at the same time. He will join my host Hall of Fame. All right. NBA Jam and NFL was at football 94 for the Sega Genesis manuals and I put this little pamphlet in it came back but I didn't put the instruction booklets that's cool looks like a uh, I don't know some sort of a back card for a Mega Man item some Nintendo cards very cool Stair safety. Take the steep stairway, boys and girls, and I need to climb it safely. It's the only way to reach, to reach the world of dreams. From Super Mario Brothers 2, I get that reference. Interesting. So they were safety themed. Okay, this is a light that goes on your Game Boy Color, maybe? Because it's um, it's that translucent color. Maybe Game Boy Advance, but I'm no, I think it's a Game Boy color. I could be wrong. 
even has batteries. I sent this and I got it back. Spider-Man Magazine. These are some uh, rock and roll cards. Rock cards. Interesting. And I got a Ferg CD who does the 2600 Game by Game podcast, which is the best 2600 Game by Game podcast in the world. Got Splinter Cell for the Xbox. Duck Cut and Mario Manual. That's how you shoot a light gun, kids. Only on old TVs. How do you like those drawings? That's very cool. Back came my TV guide with the Hoff. Looks like some uh, box art for Bernstein Bears, Samurai Showdown, a POG with Michael Jordan, a G.I. Joe poster I put in originally, and notes about the Atari Asteroids for the 2600. I actually have one of these with my uh, copy of Asteroids. Here's some stuff I put in. Uh-oh, someone, I think someone took this. I put the system in, but they left the manual. <laughs> so if you took the system and you want the manual, let me know. I'll mail it to you. And what is this? John Madden poster of football plays. All right. I think this is what was supposed to be attached to that Mega Man card. It's an air freshener that really doesn't have much of a scent anymore. Scratched up copy of NCAA football 2005. I can speak. And a manual to NHL PA Hockey 93, which if I remember correctly, had just a players association, but not the NHL license. That's why they called it NHL PA. So you couldn't play as the Red Wings. You could just play as Detroit. Or for my French friends, Detroit. And a TV switch, which I think I put in. It really is junk. And I have no idea what these are for some some uh, promotional items. Now this is the second box and I am just, I, I peeked inside a little bit as I opened it and I'm, I'm excited. But first let's do like some Ken Griffey, Garbage Pail Kids. Let's see. Abraham Rinklin. Ha ha ha. Yeah, it's funny. Look at, the, oh man, there's a ton of these guys. Look at these. Well, Andre Ware, he's not a Garbage Pail Kid. Though he played like it. Man, check out all these Garbage Pail Kids. Man, that's old school. Unless they're the newer ones, but they look like the original. It's been a long time since I've seen. Oh, that must be for me. Barry Sanders. That's my boy. Detroit fan. What, what? Centipede for the 7800. I got some box games. Ooh, this one came in its own protective case. Food Fight. Paul, you outdid yourself. Classic. Xevious. Here's one I need for my collection. Seriously, Meltdown. Awesome. Super Huey, another one I needed for my collection. It's followed by the sequel Super Dewey and Super Louie. Wow, there's some crazy stuff. All right, more 7800 games. Galaga. Pole position two. Donkey Kong, because you can play Donkey Kong on a 7800. So Nintendo's Donkey Kong on a 7800 using a Sega Genesis controller. Try it. Miss Pac-Man. Dig Dug. And Joust. Very cool. Did I say I was blown away? I'm blown away. All 
All right, I'm not sure what this is. The Pro Stick 3? You could do it eight or four ways, it looks like. I see an, a four and an eight, so I think maybe you turn this lever or something. Maybe not, I don't know. And you have a fire button. Very interesting. I wonder if that looks like you might be able to use this on a, uh, maybe on a Sega Genesis or a, an Atari system. Probably made for Atari, I'm not sure, or maybe for computers that use the same kind of controllers. got a couple Proline controllers for our Atari 7800. And the plug. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, that's a beast. Atari Inc. Business is, is fun, which I talked about on the Atari uh, 7800 Game by Game podcast. I am looking forward to this. This this is it's huge. It's like 800 pages, but it has some cool pictures inside. Oh, wow. I look forward to reading this and sharing what I read on the podcast. But it might take me a while. That's a big book. Oh, so there you go. That's the Retro Junk Box. Paul, you really did. Uh, you amazed me. That, that has some amazing stuff. Not sure what I'm going to do with all this stuff. I don't need all of it, so... I'll have to figure out something, but man, am I excited. Thank you so much, guys, for giving me a little part of your day. If you enjoyed this video or, or videos like that, go ahead and click the like and subscribe button. Don't forget, uh, you can follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Go to either one, search for The No Swear Gamer. Check out the Atari 7800 Game by Game podcast on iTunes and the Retro Obscure podcast on iTunes because Paul gave me all this stuff, so I'll plug him there. And everybody else on the Retro Junkies Network who participated, thank you very much. Appreciate you all, and I look forward to seeing you next time right here on the next episode of The No Swear Gamer. Take care, everybody.